good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sifts. Sunday, October 15th, 2023. And I'm down here back at the San Diego Bay. Sport fishing landings. Got Fisherman's Landing first and then Point Loma sport fishing and then H&M landing down on the end. So we're coming through the middle of October right now and the fishing is still, uh, it's still going really, really good. The fish are further out about 40 miles out to area 43 in the corner uh, area straight west there hasn't been as many fish down south I was out there uh, kelp patty fishing with Doug El Sueño last week we got some yellow tail in the kelp patty and then uh, I didn't really fish this that was the week before then I didn't really fish this last week I just went lobstering in the bay here uh, on Friday night th uh, Thursday into Friday and then we're gonna be leaving offshore on the sailboat later on today to head out to the 43 and do some fishing on the sailboat. So we got American Angler, they're going to refuel right now. Islander and uh, Fortune are in. And then we got all the all the seals going to town right here. They got some scraps thrown to them. So we'll be gearing up. I didn't fish that much this last week, but I'll be gearing up to go out. Like I was saying, it's gonna be a sailboat adventure. Hank invited me onto his sailboat that he's got over in um, Shelter Island, over in the harbor just across the way. So we'll be motoring out and then doing some trolling and some jigging, because uh, the fi most of the fish are coming in the daytime on the live bait. That's what we saw last week here. Uh, but we're not gonna have any live bait, so. Let's get back to, we're gonna check the fish here, get the report, Pegasus going to refuel. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like, show that love and support that everyone's been doing. I love it so much. Thank you all for following all, along, watching, supporting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like, check out channel memberships, Amazon storefront, or better yet, buy a solo skiff from me. Email me, californiaskiffs at gmail.com. Let's get to the fish. This Islander. They killed it last week. I saw they got the mothership trip coming for the kayaks. They take kayaks out at San Clemente Island. They put a rack across the live well. Tomahawks in. Looks like they didn't go out. Joe was supposed to go on that trip. Stray fish left. I think there's American angler. Tuna Wahoo Yellowtail. Snapper. No, 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 it's not. I was checking it out. They caught. They threw them on my pile because they realized that they got it. What up, Pot? Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> How are you? Good, good. American Angler, that's what this trip is right here? Eight day to the ridge, that usual stuff? Yeah. Yep. Got any Wahoo? I haven't seen any. No? Yeah, the Fargo's good stuff. Oh yeah, dang, look at that one. Yeah. Yep. Look clean, look clean to them. Fresh. I know, they still got some good colors here. Yeah. Right on, let you do your thing. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah. Good to see you, bro. Hot in the house, always doing work. American Angler, long range trip down the ridge. See who's going down at H&M. All right, we're down here at H&M Landing now, and they got the big dogs. We know you paid for it. Woo-hoo-hoo, there they are. Here's Mr. Wong. Range for 85. Were those on a kite? Yeah. Say Ranger 85 trip here coming back. They got tuna, yellowtail, a couple big dogs. 
All right, we're down here at H and M Landing now. Right, we'll check out what they got listed online for fish counts here at Fisherman's or down at Fisherman's Landing, all the way at the end where I started at. The Islander, that's who we saw there at the docks, returned this morning with limits, 150, look at that. Bluefin tuna and 79 yellowfin tuna for 25 anglers on a three day trip. Wow, they killed it, Islander. Pacific Dawn, 59 bluefin, up to 207 pounds. See, there's the big boys. 270 pound, seven pound bluefin on the 2.5 day and then Liberty. Limits bluefin. 84 yellowfin, 30 Dorado, 22 anglers on a 1.5 day. That's a good trip right there. Liberty got them yesterday. Point Loma sport fishing. Mission Bell four day, or full day, 42 Dorado. Limits of Dorado and Yellowtail, they were on the kelp patties probably. And then T-Bird 1.5 day, 22 bluefin. Here at H&M Landing. Legend, two day, 46 bluefin, Ranger 85, that's who we just saw, 34 bluefin. They had some big ones. And then we'll go over to Seaforth just to check it out. They're fishing sculpin, white fish, and sand bass because you can't fish rockfish shallow water right now so new sea, new sea fourth that's lj sea watch three quarter day perch calico bass sand bass and then san diego full day 13 dorado six yellowtail for 34 anglers and aztec two day 26 anglers 89 bluefin 20 to 75 pound liberty checked in 15 bluefin, 8 yellowfin, weighing up to 60 pounds. So that's the numbers. And then a lot of the long range boats are coming in. That's what we got Red Rooster right here. From you two? Yeah, that, 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 that's what I'm doing. What do you... I'm going out on the legend. Where are you going? Oh, you're going on the legend yeah. right now? Yeah. Uh, I'm going on a sailboat out oh, to the 43. Yeah, I, I watch you all the time. Yeah, no, that's, I'm just doing my report right yeah. now. I saw the long range uh, trip coming in yeah. down at Point Loma Sport Fishing, and then you're going on the legend. Hey, you remember the, the, the code for the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know the code. He, okay. uh, yeah. yeah. I'll ask inside. Thanks for watching, though. I, I, oh, yeah. Good luck on I, your I trip. It, Thank you. Yeah. All right, he's going on legend. And then we got Red Rooster. Red Rooster is getting uh, ready to unload. They probably got a big haul coming in from long range. Any Wahoo? Tuna and yellow tail. Wait, wait, go over those numbers again. This was full day on the grande. Yeah, the grande. Eugene, what day was that? That was uh, Friday. Friday, Eugene and went on the Friday grande. Day. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, <laughs> and on a full day trip on the Grande. Yeah, yeah. And, and then we have a uh, 130 something Dorado. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, yellowfin tuna. And how one, many yellowfin? Uh, yellowfin is probably around maybe 30. And then we have uh, bluefin tuna, like around maybe 10. And yeah, so over day. 200 over fish day. on a full day yes, trip. Yes. And we it got, was just wide open. And Friday uh, the 13th. And yeah, I know. I was, I was looking at some of uh, the bag and the shelf. There's some bananas. <laughs> oh, on the boat, there's the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so we got it, you know. Yeah, uh, no, that's, what were they biting with uh, Pound uh, Test? Oh, we uh, start with 25. And then later on, hey, it's the, uh, where you have to jump on the 40. And they were biting 30, 40, no problem. 40 and then top shot, you know. <clears throat> Wait, to, uh, top shot, mono, you're top, saying? Yeah, mono to top mono, shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, mono, mono to, to a floral, floral leader. Floral, yes. Yeah, so uni knot, uni yeah, to uni, uni right? Uni, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I saw you doing the, the uni knot. <laughs> yeah, no, the, well, you have to tie that mono to, yeah. the, but I do Albright when I go yeah. braid to mono. Yeah. And then um, what about size hook? Uh, two. A oh, number two. Two O oh, and the smaller size. 
I yeah, yeah, one ring, one uh, circle, circle hook. hook. Yeah. yeah, yeah, ring circle hook yeah. or regular yeah. ring circle hook, right? Ring, ring, ring yeah, and then yeah. butt hook bait or nose um, hook. They like the butt hook. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what yeah. I've been doing too. And then we, uh, I did cut one in uh, the puppet. Oh, you got a, a uh, yellow fin uh, or uh, Dorado? Uh, the yellow fin. Yeah, <laughs> nice. They're, they're jumping you, on it. Uh, really? Yeah, 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 they were. You saw them explode on the popper? Uh, they, uh, yeah. Yeah, wow! Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How big a big popper or a smaller uh, size one? One thirty. One thirty. What brand was yeah, it? Uh, uh, it's a lot, a lot of brand in there, really. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. No, but and then all poppers, probably all the clear ones, they probably. Oh, you! It was a clear yeah. one. And also the green. Uh, mint, mint, uh, surface mint iron. One. Yeah, the mint one. Or the mint ghost pop. You're saying? Uh, no, the mint. Uh, surface iron. Yeah, surface iron. And yeah. the yellow fan and the Dorado were hitting that. Yes, yes, yes. Dang, that sounds like an yes. epic trip. We only have a. Uh, Started in uh, six o'clock. Uh, I mean, uh, like around nine o'clock. And one stop, we have we have trolling with one bluefin tuna. You you stop because you got hit by a bluefin tuna, and then you started fishing. Yes. And and, then, and what happened? And the second stop again, we had the Dorado. And then the it third, was open water Dorado, the, no patty. Yeah, no. Yeah. I think the third the, the third patty. And we stop. Dorado is jumping all over the. Everywhere. Yeah, free swimmers all on the corner. <laughs> Do they free gaff any? <laughs> Just no. reach it. Yeah. But no, yeah, I've you, seen that. You know? Yeah, before. Is that yeah. the best fishing that you've been on uh, no, in a lot? No. No. no that's, you've been fishing for a long time, that's huh? My, um, I saw you all the time. I know. But I just don't like, uh, oh, I'm living like uh, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Well, thank you for the report. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, no you problem. got on. I'm good. I'm yeah. stoked to hear that. Yeah. And thank you for watching the video. And, I, and actually, this is my uh, fourth trip the month of September and October. Just one day. I'm not really going to the night of, of like a three nights four nights yeah and they just driving around and then hunting i know i know you know? Well, yeah, you don't even know if they're going to cooperate. You're, it's all for that one shot at that big... There you go. I know. Right? That's what, if you want to do that big shot for the big bluefin, that's what it takes. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a lot of a no lot of time on the... the There's no Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> that's some of the best trips I've Wait, been on. I get number th number 13 won the jackpot on our last trip, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. Oh, man. So uh, yeah, I saw you, Mikey, all the time. I yeah. appreciate yeah, yeah. that. No, we're all we're all doing the same thing, right? We're just trying to catch fish, yeah. right? I, sometimes you go by the small boat. I I do it all, you know. Yeah. Whatever it takes to get. Well, you know what I'm doing now. Today I leave. The guy invited me. We're going on his sailboat out to the 43 because it's 40 miles and it's getting too expensive. Nom's like, oh, too much on gas because we have to buy a Freedom Boat Club gas down here, oh, really? oh. 7.40 a gallon, you know. This guy wants to go on a sailboat for two days and then we're going to night jig and troll and we're going to go out to the zone out to the fleet. Yeah, I know. So that, that's my latest adventure. And then Baja, that's what I'm, I'm just really, it's Baja season coming up. But I'm, I'm, I want to get as much as I can out of the bluefin uh, here because they yeah, should go in. No Are you going to go on trips in November? Uh, um, right now, the season is off right now. Uh, maybe there's some more in there, but uh, 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 the Grande is uh, in the parking lot right now because I. Uh, Wait, they're, what? They're doing some uh, some maintenance. Really? So they're not running trips this week? Um, I, um, Was that one of their last maybe. trips that you went on? Uh, Grant, right on, Grant. Yeah. What's the report from Red Rooster? Uh, the ridge was on fire with the yellowtail and yellowfin, 30 pounds. Yellowtail, uh, surface 30 iron, pounds. yellowtail, or mostly uh, yo-yo yo iron? Yo-yo iron. Yo-yo right. iron. Right. Scrambled egg? Scrambled egg. Yeah. It was working. A little bird shit on it. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, blue and, and white. Then, uh, blue and white. We oh, that was the money? Uh, what? Yeah, we went to Seagrove. I thought did that. Some uh, ponder, did some ponder Oh, that's epic. It was yeah, epic. I'm, what? Yeah. How'd that go? I'm on the next one. Dang. Yeah, it was a great time. That is killer. Mahi Madness. 15, 20 pounds. At Cedros? Yeah, at Cedros Island. Not that much yellowtail there. Uh, a little yeah. smaller yellowtail. Smaller yellowtail yeah. at Cedros. More Yo -yo. Mahi. It was yellowtail on the ridge. Right. Any wahoo? No wahoo. One wahoo on the troll. <laughs> yeah. One lucky passenger. Such a hard right. fish to catch. Exactly. Yeah. 
Dang. So hard. Yeah, they weren't on the ridge. We, all the boats are on the ridge. The yeah. Angler, the Rooster, um, you know, a couple other the boats. Independence was down there. So, everybody was on the ridge. Yeah, and then, was on the ridge. The, like, the upper part of the ridge or upper the lower? Part. Upper part. Like, up right. by Abre Ojos almost? Kind of up in know, that? But yeah, the upper Got, banks, yeah, gotcha. Upper banks, right. That was good, but the, it was just drop, walk out, drop my jig, hooked up. 30 pound yellowfin. It was good times. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's, so, so yellowtail, yellowfin, uh, Dorado. Right. Oh, that was everything I was on the live bait. On the live bait. And then how long of a trip was that? Eight day. Eight day. And then do you guys have enough bait for the all eight days or do you all start jigging? Days. Really? We catch bait. Yeah, we Sometimes have you have to, but time. the yeah. sardines lasted the whole entire the whole time. Trip, right. That's epic grinds on the, on the Red <laughs> yeah. Rooster. Uh, awesome. You be say, better. Yeah, you say your name was Grant, right? Grant. Yes. Right on, Grant. It was All a right. pleasure to meet you. Yeah, yeah good nice job on the too. fish. Yeah. Right, thanks. Loving it. That's All awesome. Right. Thank you for the really, really good report, too. So right. hopefully we get the fish out here and see some of the fish. That's right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> you know it. Thanks, Grant. Sweet. Yo, Red Rooster offloading their haul. Get some coffee while I wait. Shelter Island, that's where I'll be at later. Leaving off at, on Hank's sailboat over here somewhere. He said he's back behind Humphreys, so we're gonna get some coffee. There it is, Grady White, Fisherman 23.6. Only 154,000. <laughs> and then the big dog, Grady White. I'm not sure how big this one is. 680,000? $680,000 for that boat right there? Next level. Grady White boats are badass. With the dual Yamahas. XTO Offshore. Freedom, 335, 33 foot five jeez here we got the cobia a little smaller center console it's like freedom boat club style there it is red rooster offloading the fish trip to the ridge yellowtail tuna dorado the usual suspects red rooster three here at h&m landing Go over and see the fish up close. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Who we got here? <laughs> hey, I'm How Ed. you doing, Ed? Yeah. Now, are you just getting back from Red Rooster? No, I'm just going. Oh, you're going about to go on it. Go on, on an eight day trip? Yes. Down to the ridge? Yep. Catch Wahoo? Yeah. Have you caught Wahoo before? Oh, yeah. Dang, <laughs> really? Yeah. That's last my dream year, fish. Last year on this trip, we killed the Wahoo. Because they both the uh, um, American Angler and uh, Red Rooster, the last trip, they said only one oh, on really? the troll. Yeah, that oh, was shit. it. So hopefully you guys get it. Hopefully it changes uh, for so you too. guys. Yeah. Uh, last year we killed. How'd you them, get so. them last year? Last year I got seven. But how'd you catch them oh, on the uh, wahoo, bomb, wahoo bomb on the bait. On surface iron bait? You know how good it was is that we caught them on you know on the troll. Boom, then the boat slows down and starts chumming. You start <laughs> jigging or uh, throwing bombs. You catch them that way. That's wire and leader on the bombs. It was, it was so good that you have enough time to put that bomb on the rail and then grab your bait hook, put a bait out there and catch another one. That's how good it was. Have you ever had a trip? Was that one of the best Wahoo that trips that you've had? Yeah. 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 I know, because it's hard enough just to get a Wahoo and then when you get it like that, you <laughs> caught right. seven that trip? Yeah, I caught wow. seven. Another guy caught eight, but Dang. Uh, yeah, that was the best. That's one. badass, Ed. You're a legend. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, you guys just love it and appreciate it, yeah, you know? We're going on the same trick, a lot of the same guys. Right on. Some of these guys going, let's repeat. Well, let's see what happens. Exactly. No, that's what it all, hey, at the, you guys did the first step of getting on the trip and making yeah. it all happen to get together. Right. And then, so yeah, good things will happen. Yeah. yeah. But I don't watch a lot of your stuff. I appreciate that. And you, oh, you're nuts going out there. <laughs> <laughs> but now now i'm learning from other people <laughs> there yeah. uh, you know now i'm able to get on bigger uh boats you know okay uh, don't have to uh push it as much as uh, c4 yeah oh, you, should, you should have one of these on this eight day you know how well, i'm fishing and all i know so awesome. i'm work i'm working towards it oh uh, yo, yeah. my my dream is to get a wahoo so i got some connections with baja you know so yeah i'm maybe not on one of these boats but getting down in baja you know 
know, Mac Day that time of the year. So we'll we'll see what happens. Red but Booster, man. I know, I know. Yeah, because that's why I've, I've worked my way up. You know, I've yeah, done yeah. some of the other trips, yeah. but that's the ultimate is those long range. Man, you've got some nice trips though. I know. I'm very, very blessed and grateful your, for what I've been awesome, able to experience. awesome the way you show those things. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, is Ed, like Ed, right? Yeah. Right on. Thank I you, Ed. I, I really appreciate you. Dang, some nice yellows from the ridge. Yeah. You going out? No, no, I'm not. Oh, who's going to be Kevin is. Okay. Sheep's head. Not much around. Yellow tail. Yeah, there's very little around. <laughs> there you go. Not that much Wahoo right now down there. You can never, I mean, you don't know, they move, they're temperamental. Let me see if he's there. What do you say, Wahoo, when it's glassy out, when it's really glassy? Is that what he said, the Wahoo that bite the best? Really, was it really flat, nice conditions when you guys caught all those Wahoo? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was nice and calm, yeah. And that's what I saw, um, there was a guy that works at Fisherman's, uh, or Angler's Choice, and he had gotten like three Wahoo on the American Angler about a month ago, and it looked like it was just sheet glass, like oh, yeah. all sunny and perfect conditions when they caught yes. him, yeah. I've been out there when you can see the reflection of the clouds. That look yeah, the same and water. it looks like it, you're, you're floating in the sky yes. almost. You can't tell the difference, yeah. And, and deep, that's, almost like purple water, it's so clear. Yeah, that's when it's good. That's what I remember when I went out to, um, I went to Baja in March, and I fished with Juan Cook at the Golden Reef and it was so flat and glossy and nice and yeah. it looked like it was the sky and the mm. water is the same. He said we're gonna catch probably about the same, you know, yellow yeah. fin and yellowtail. So well did, did you see that one yellowtail? There was some nice, you know, then that's what uh Grant was saying, like 30 pound yellowtail, you know, on yeah. the ridge was the average, and then the smaller ones were from uh Cedros. Yeah, I guess so, we're gonna stop at Cedros. That's really cool. That, I, 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 I guess, yeah, yeah. So they they organize that where they able to stop and then fish off because you're not allowed to fish off the sport boats down there. Oh, that's okay, why that's I think the they have to do the ponga stuff ah, because they're not allowing the sport boats right, to fish right. out of there. Yeah. So I guess that's new to me. Yeah, they've done a really good job with protecting Cedros from. I think oh, they have a lot of uh, regulations on how much you can. Sure, I think you can only fish more. from the uh, from the uh, <laughs> islands there. Right. Like it has, you can't come from the outside and fish wow. there. You got to fish from the island. That's I don't know. That's a new rule they put on us. Yeah. Okay. All well, right, sweet, Ed. It was great talking thing. with okay. you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Red Rooster 3 here. H&M Landing. Long range trip to the ridge. Eight day. Yellowtail, yellowfin. Sheep's head, link cod. And one wahoo on the troll. What's up, Sammy? <laughs> I was trying to find that wahoo with that one wahoo. They I heard they got one on the troll. That was it. One? Yeah. Usually, that's, usually they come in with like 20. I know, but they said uh, like um, American Angler was the same way, and that I just heard the captain say that it's not that. I guess they come out when it's really super flat and glassy and nice conditions. Okay. Yesterday we did the XL dog side. They had like a snowy Oh, snowy grouper? Yeah, like the smaller ones. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones. With the big eyes bulging out? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, v uh, v aren't they vaqueta or something like that in uh, Spanish? You I, don't know? Think, I don't know. I know. I want to catch those down in Loreto, or they have them in Bay of LA, too. Do you fish Baja at all? No. I've only done local. I've only been fishing for like a year, though, so. I know, that's why I'm impressed with your, <laughs> look at that yellow yeah. fit, you got the blue fit, yeah. you got them all checked off, right? Just, yeah, I'm waiting for that yellow tail. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what it seems like, and then I was talking to this guy who was on the Grande on Friday, he said they went south and they got 130 Dorado, like uh, oh, yeah, 40 yellowfin that. tuna, they, uh, went, they went pretty crazy, and he said that they were south, I thought they went west that same area yeah, so i haven't really done good uh, south this year i haven't really found those. i know that's the same thing with me it seems like all that volume has been in that area in the upper and then you said that you were at the 289 uh last yeah. week and that's what i was noticing it seems like they even the fish push further north than the yeah. 43 in the corner huh yeah they're kind of just following the currents honestly that's what they've been really doing 
I think like the only time I really caught fish south this year was um. You said you got one of the Mad Max, right? Yeah, I got one blue pin, like the 371. The 371, yeah. And then also some ran up like a Dorado patty, like wide open. I like the 371 also. But last year I caught like all my fish south. Almost all. Yeah, down south. That's typically how it always is, right? Yeah. But, but this year is like a lot of action on the 30 mile bank. Like a, a lot of Dorado. Um, yeah, on the June, uh, like 182, 181, that ridge yeah. you're talking about, right? Yeah, 30 mile lot. bank. Yeah, there's a lot. Of Are you going out this week? Uh, probably. Uh, I usually go out every week. How far? How many miles is the 289? Probably around 50. Probably maybe, yeah. Maybe even more. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. It's like 50 but or it 60. Was so flat on Friday. We were probably going like 25 out and then like 30 back in. Yeah, because I'm I'm go leaving on a sailboat at noon today, and then we're gonna go to the 43 in the corner really? and troll all the way out there, and then night it's a 43 foot bed, you know, and then night jig uh, and just sit out there with the fleet. How, try to long, find does the, it, how long does it take? It's gonna he it, it's gonna take five hours. He goes about eight miles an hour. Okay, so you guys are basically gonna do a lot of night fishing. Right? That's what the main focus is gonna be night fishing. He said he's got a, you know, a Simrad unit on it, so we'll be able to see it, that yeah. to have the comfort of that, you know, instead of being on the center console, so. And then, and then troll during the daytime. But most of the big fish have been around Tanner. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's, there's not really the big, well, uh, there's not any big night fish in that other area? Uh, I don't, even, I don't really know. There probably is. But then the night fishing a couple weeks ago picked up a lot, but I think it might be dying back down a little bit. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Yeah. Get out there. Yeah, I've never been fishing at night before. Yeah, we got we got who what's your name? Tim. Tim, he's a subscriber here from Nash Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. There we go. <laughs> and he's making his blooping uh tuna fishing dreams come true, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you caught him before or is this your first time going for him? You're not gonna believe it, bud. 386 is my biggest blue fin. My first Good first blue you, fin no was 386. <laughs> you're no, on the fin. on the kite? On the kite. Yeah. Your number your number you just got called? My number got called. And I gave my What I, year was I, this? Two years ago when the big ones was What boat? Angler. American Angler yeah. and then this time of the year? Yes. Yeah, October, November. Yes. And you guys were flying the kite. Yeah. Flying the kite. On a dead flyer or live flyer? Dead. Or, dead? And Good then that thing blows just, up. Whoa. You were watching it. Watching it. And then all of a sudden, boom. The captain ran down. He knew it was a 400 pounder. Yeah. You but, bought the whole thing? Two, yeah. Yeah. Got the whole thing. <laughs> um, what, were, what kind of reel? That Avid three quad speed. T? Yeah, three oh, speed three speed? Yeah. Avid? Yeah. yeah. About 45 minutes. Really? Yeah, yeah. just winched him in, huh? Two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. And I got and the ne next kite rotation come up and I gave it away 350 something. Wait, well, how what do you mean you gave it away? Your number got, got called again? Uh, yeah, my number got up again. That's how quick we were catching them. How many did you guys get on the kite? Oh dude, we hammered. I, I don't I don't I can't even remember, but I can't even remember what it was, but it was crazy. My number, number You guys got, got over 20 again. on the kite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. way more than that. And and multiple over 200s. 300 pounds. Oh yeah. My, that got beat 389. I had the boat record for about two fish. Oh my god. 389 got caught. And you come out for one trip a year or how many I times? I come you out one trip a year. Every year in October on the angler. That is a legendary <laughs> story. Thank you for sharing that. That is incredible. I, I think the record for uh, California is like 417 or yeah, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Dang, three. Oh, first one, my first blue, I ain't never caught one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I gotta get but a I shot did, but, of this guy with a black sea bass. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Good then job. I got a jackpot. I dropped down the very next morning and saw 197. <laughs> oh, Just a legend. Oh, yeah, black sea bass. Wait a minute, we didn't get the shot. Got it, got it. Damn. <laughs> How much does that weigh? I don't know. A <laughs> lot. You're about to find out. <laughs> oh, they're going to hang it? What you count on a, on a live bait? You caught that? Right, live bait. Live bait. Dang. Thought I had a big yellow. 
boy, I was surprised. Wow. Is, is that the only one? Uh, there was another one, but it's smaller. That's the biggest one. That's some good eats right there. Yeah. Gonna enjoy that one. I will. Wow. Good job. Black sea bass. There you are. What is that one? What kind of is that a grouper? It's black sea bass. Oh, that's a smaller black sea bass. Yeah, with the spots, huh? Yeah, that one we caught on a panga. On, off of Cedros, huh? Cedros, yeah. Yeah, it was just me, him, and one other dude in the boat. That's the other one. Yeah, you thought it was a yellowtail? He did. And he thought it was a yellow tail, and next thing you know, he's pulling off the truck. I was getting spooled, dude. I was getting spooled. 30 minutes later, hooked back the hook. Yeah, we go. Two seconds later, oh, he hooked it. You hooked it first, and then he hooked it. All right, Red Rooster killed it. They got black sea bass, even. Yeah. Whose haul is that? Is that yours? That's me. You got the black sea bass and the wahoo? I did. You're the lucky wahoo, man. <laughs> That's the dream fish for me How right did you there. That one, though. That one. Uh, yeah, hey, you got I know this. Got the who though? Dang. Where is five? Five. Got a little four up. AJ trip. Did you catch one, sir? No. Okay. There's one walk on the boat. Really? Yeah, it's right over there. But you see the black sea bass? Nice meet you, man. Yeah, pleasure meeting you too. Thanks for the story. So there it is. That's gonna do it for my fish report. Sport fishing report here for Sunday, October 15th, 2023. And the bluefin are still biting, yellowfin are still biting, dorado are still biting. And then all the long range trips are going down to the ridge now. So you got the shot at Wahoo, we saw some black sea bass, uh, lingcod, the opargo, snapper, whole bunch of variety of fish. Got the reports from people coming in there. That was awesome. So there you have it. That's gonna do it for my Fishing Sport Fishing Report here, uh, Sunday, October 15th, 2023. And the bluefin are still biting, yellowfin are still biting, Dorado are still uh, biting. I saw a couple big ones out there too. And that's all in the, you know, one to four day, of the full day boats to the four day boats. They're getting them out west, down south. Then um, you got the long range boats going too. So the long range boats are going down south into Baja, down to the ridge there and there was fishing that's where the american angler and the red rooster three they got on good grade yellowtail here they're biting a lot on the yo-yo iron the blue and white there heard from grant on the trip on that and then uh so they also got some black sea bass and uh some pargo some snappers some sheep's head a little variety pack so thank you all for watching and following along next up i'm going to send it out on the sailboat with hank today we're leaving at 12 noon and we're gonna head out to the 43 to the corner, maybe up by San Clemente Island and do some trolling and some jigging. So stay tuned for more adventures. Thank you all for watching and following along. One love, living the dream. Shoo.